the metaverse is due for an upgrade. It's not enough to see the virtual world. At CES 2023, many brands are showcasing technology that allows you to touch and feel. Haptic was the buzzword in Las Vegas. It means anything related to the sense of touch. EU-based haptic gaming company Owo displayed its wearable second skin for gamers to interact with the virtual environment. It's basically a vest, uh, short-sleeved, so you can feel in your pectorals, abdomen, dorsal, lumbars, and biceps. Yeah, uh, she's at the moment wearing uh, our second skin. We've got several designs. This is the standard black design. So here she's feeling uh, everything that's happening in an experience that we've developed ourselves using uh, MetaQuest. Uh, because it, it's what we had, but it could be on any platform. She could be playing on PC, mobile, consoles, anything. A pair of second skin costs 399 euros. From a skin-tight t-shirt to a full-body haptic outfit, South Korea-based company B Haptics unveiled wearables from vests to gloves to sleeves for your feet. So there are about 300 different haptic patterns you can deliver with our haptic suit. So it can be environmental, like wind, like flying, uh, raindrops, tornadoes, volcano, and then also it can be like that you can feel the damages, like slashes. You can um, hug people and you can do hand handshakes, fist bump, and like give a tap on your back. A full haptic suit costs about $1,000. What kind of games are you compatible with right now? Uh, there are about 200 games compatible with our suits on Steam and MetaQuest. So consumers actually use this to play their um, games on VR. This is just the beginning and um, there will be more games and more um, re realistic uh, materials to simulate the uh, haptic sensation. In addition to gaming, India-based mixed reality company Ajna Lens is bringing haptic technology to transform the way we learn new skills. Now, this platform is like Netflix of uh, learning and development, you know, so you can find any skills you like. It's, it's very much practical based learning for every industry, right from, you know, automotive to beauty to fitness to um, oil and gas to manufacturing. You name it, we have it. Its first client was the Indian Army. And based on the skill, uh, you will get to know the kind of accessories that you require for that. So, for example, <coughs> if you have a high precision skill, we also have haptic gloves as an accessory. So for example, let's say um, you are operating an aircraft, right? Now, if you do it with remote control, it's not intuitive. So you wear haptic gloves and you actually, you know, pull the controllers, the levers, you, switch, you, you know, click on the switch yeah. so that it's more intuitive. Despite new advancements that entice us to stay longer in the metaverse, there is still a fundamental problem with virtual reality. The main problem right now with VR, which is also a big step towards the metaverse, is the locomotion. Because they perceive motion that they are moving in the VR headset, but they don't actually feel it in their body. Serbia-based company C-Infinity is looking to neuroscience to reduce nausea caused by motion in VR. We have developed a device here that helps you get that slight sensation of motion that's missing from the equation that actually overcomes the nausea, helps you overcome nausea a lot quicker than you would normally. Some people just eliminate nausea totally. Some people are still uncurable. That most people won't tell you that, but this just reduces the amount of effort uh, by a lot, right? Like in Ready Player One, like you see those, like the, the sea of players standing in that one device. This is kind of like that, yeah. From military training to gaming in the metaverse, these haptic technology exhibited at CES 2023 shows the world of Ready Player One is closer than we think.